Today I'm going to be watching more Australian comedy from the Australian television comedy sketch show Big Girls Blouse and I've watched a few videos from this before, it's been excellent. This one, I've seen people recommend a few different versions of this sketch, Liberal Ladies, then I found this one which I think has a lot of different sketches of this uh, Liberal Ladies, so tell me if you remember this one, uh, yeah tell me more about this show. I believe the creators, from what I've learned in the comments, were the creators also behind the Australian show Kath and Kim. So tell me if I should maybe watch like an episode of that, have you got a favourite episode of that? Uh, but yeah, let's enjoy this one first of all. See that Paul Keating on the TV last night? Oh, he's a dreadful man. I mean, those beady eyes, he's shifty. Walker's the same, couldn't trust him. Too short. Short man, like that Graham Richardson. I oh. couldn't bear him. Awful. What about Jeff Kennett? Good looking man. He has that intelligent, gentle face. Kind. John Elliott's the same, you know, sort of soft, friendly mm. face. Nice man. Mm. Yes. Roman Bishop, oh, she's just got loads of style. She's such an attractive woman. She's sort of like Maggie Thatcher, isn't she? You know, classic beauty. Mm. Not like that Jane <laughs> Kerner. <laughs> oh, <laughs> appalling dresses. Oh. And her makeup. What has she come at? <laughs> I mean, Carmen Lawrence is the same. That bird's nest hair and those glasses. I mean, no, no idea. idea. <laughs> what do you think of John Faye? I don't like him. I think he's a dreadful man. He's sly. He, he, he is Labour. No, no liberal. liberal. Oh, oh, John Faye, yes. Oh, no, he's got beautiful shiny hair. <laughs> I saw your young James play the first last week. Mm. Talk about a catch and a half. Pretty darn gorgeous. Well, we are quietly hoping to get some little Merton Hall girl out of trouble one of these days. <laughs> oh, send him round to my place, darling. I'll show him trouble. So, not getting too much though, there, Jilly. No, but I'm having some wonderful erotic dreams. Last night, I dreamed little Johnny Howard was dressed up in a silver Lurex jock strap and was ravishing me on the long con counter at David Jones. <laughs> oh, fantastic. God, he's sexy. I love eyebrows. <laughs> it's like hair. You know, a hairy chest just says, powerful man to me. That is so true. It all boils down to hair and power. Power is hair and hair is power. And hairy power <laughs> is sex. And powerful hair is sexy. I mean, look at Roman Bishop. Uh, Margaret Thatch. George's Bush. I mean, of course, there's money. There's money is power. Power is money. Money is hair. Hairy money. The hairy checkbook. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? That's how I pay my divine little <laughs> What happened to the creepy crawly? Now oh, I got rid of him. Speaking of creepy crawlies. Alexander Downer. <laughs> now he really pushes my buttons. <gasps> oh, he would have to have the sexiest voice in Parliament. You know, I have a secret fantasy. Him in a schoolboy uniform reading the Liberal Party tax policy. <laughs> oh, ironic. Okay, lady. When you're in bed with your husband, who do you fantasize about? Jilly? Well, besides little Johnny Howard, I'd have to say Peter Reed. Die. Tim Fisher, the quiet achiever. Big. Roman Bishop. <laughs> yeah, tell me about these characters. Are these like a, a good representation of this type of person? Do you know anybody that was like this or is like this? Guess it's like a parody or a satire of those more well-to-do women. This is how they spend their time sitting around gossiping and things like that as well. I guess a lot of these things they're talking about, the people are probably well-known in Australian culture at this time. Tell me more about them. And yeah, tell me just what you think about these characters. Very enjoyable to watch so far. Alright, okay. what do you want on these, Jilly? Oh, yes, they're my takeaway food containers. Now, Thai food came in those. <laughs> what do you think? $5 a piece, too much? Oh, don't be silly, Jilly. It's all for the Brotherhood. We won't make a cent if you charge like that. Make a ten. Oh, yes, look, people can afford it. You know, my Jeremy was called as one of those hedge burners. No, I tried to be mad, but I had to laugh. I did think it was hilarious. Oh, look, I've got a real soft spot for Jeremy. Great sense of humour. Yes, he's a real rebel, isn't he? And I love that in a boy. No, 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 that's one dollar each. Not one dollar for the lot, one dollar each. You speak English? <laughs> no, that's telling him, Di, good for you. You've got to be tough. 
It was been a tough year for all of us. I mean, we had to get rid of the house in Sorrento. Didn't you then buy that bigger place at Portsea? Yes, but I loved Sorrento. Bloody neighbours drove us out eventually. Oh, here they are. Some rubbish about Jeremy and their head. Speaking of beaches, how much do you think I should charge for this rubber thong I found on the cruiser? Oh, Give me a look at that. You know, I think that's mine. Oh, goody, I'll charge, what, seven, eight dollars? Somebody with a bit of imagination could do something with that. Oh, now, listen up. I've got an entire crowd of empty bolly bottles. No one's even looked at it, you know. I mean, I'm going to put it out the front. Some of them still got labels on. I could get quite a bit for that. Right. Yes, they're, they're Lady Scott Porter rolls. They're not some cheap brand. Um, cost me $1. fifty. You can have them for a dollar. No? All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Silly deaf old bitch. <laughs> well, how much have we made, girls? Ooh, who's going to take it down to Father Peter? There's a fortune there. Mm. And there is a recession on. Mm. Yeah. And let's face it, none of the brotherhood ever done for us. Look, Jeremy, where are you going with that can of petrol? <laughs> campaign. I haven't seen anything in the press. Oh, no, there was that marvellous article he did for Gourmet Traveller. You know, the things that batter, that'll pick up. <laughs> oh, no, bad luck. Hang on, ladies. Did Alexi down us out? It's both one hard now. Oh, oh well, cross that down and put in hard. Okay. Both one hard. Both These one accents hard. are Oh, really? Now, hang on a minute, Fee. Amazing. Uh, Howard's out. There's been a spill peacocks back in. Oh. oh, her Susan? Yes, I guess so. <laughs> She's not peacock. She's from new. Oh, oh. oh is that so? No, just right, Susan. Oh, right one, Susan. Thank yes. you. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, girls, hang on a minute. That was Jane Patty. Apparently, they've resurrected Robert Menzies and he's running again. Oh, my goodness, without a bit of stability. Yes, Bird one, pig, and Bob. Yes, thank you. Yes. Oh, really? Great. Okay. No, no, hold your horses. Apparently, Harold Holt's been found on some beach in Japan and he's reclaimed the leadership. Now, is he a wet or a dry? I don't know. It depends if he had a towel, I guess. Bird one, Tell me what about those mm, politicians as well. Double bay. Yes, all right, thank you. Little Jake got into my purse the other day, stole five dollars. So did you tell him off? No. I said, listen, darling, there was twenty dollars in that purse. Why didn't you take that? I said, for heaven's sake, if you want to be a stockbroker when you grow up, you've got to learn to rip people off bright and early. <laughs> Going. Must be right in the thick of final exams now. Oh, yes, he's great, you know, not studying a bit, of course. Always got something on, you know, rugby, rowing, cricket practice. <laughs> and, of course, all the end of your parties. What's he hoping to do when he finishes? Oh, God knows. He's academically hopeless, loves to drink, and he's a great bullshitter. So, politics? Yes. <laughs> Actually, we're very worried about our Sophie. Schoolwork? Mm, straight A's in every subject. Always got a head in a school book. I don't know who she takes after. Not me. You know, she wants to do medicine, which is great, you know. But I said, listen, so you have got to have something to fall back on. No, oh, no, quite right, Di. I mean, she's got to put in the hard social slog now, you know, get in with the right crowd. Meet the boys from the big families, your value, the alcohol. Mm. Mm. Little James Pack is going begging. Well, I have told her this. She simply will not apply herself. I don't know, just despair for her future medicine. Let's just pray she meets a nice doctor. How old is Soph now, darling? Five next birthday. <laughs> <laughs> the time is ticking away. <laughs> that was so good, yeah, like... Again, I feel like these characters will probably be relatable. I'm sure in the Australian political scene, you'll know of people who support parties who are like that, have those personalities. Again, with this being very Australian, those accents, sounds like they're like posh, wherever they're from. I mean, they, they obviously are, the way they act, the houses, the dress, the, the accents, everything. So upper class and posh so very good satire of that type of person i'm going to guess tell me being australian again yeah how good are these characters again excellent acting acting from the actresses again i'll need to check out kath and kim 
seen people mention that a lot in the comments so tell me again yeah if you've got a favorite episode should i just watch the first episode something like that uh, and yeah tell me what you think about these liberal ladies thanks <laughs>